Hello. Welcome to Verbling. Welcome again. I am Teacher Oakley. <clears throat> and in this class, uh, we're going to work on pronunciation again today. We're going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be looking at proverbs, uh, expressions or sayings that are supposed to uh, teach us life lessons, if you will. Uh, many proverbs use what we call alliteration. They repeat sounds uh, in the words. So they're, they're actually particularly good for practicing pronunciation. Uh, okay, you'll see what I mean. Uh, hopefully if you downloaded the document below the class description, you can see a whole list of uh, proverbs there. Um, hello, Hein. How are you? Hain or Hein? Hain, Hain. Hain, Hain. Yeah. Hain, Hain, two Hains? Hain. <laughs> Hain. Okay. Hi, Hain. Yeah. How are you today? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Uh, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, where are you from, Hain, again? Uh, I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay, yeah. very good. All right. Thanks for the joining the class. All right. We're going to be practicing pronunciation a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let me just say hi to a couple other folks. Uh, Goliath? Is that right? Hello. Hello. Is that really your name, Goliath? No, it's Ayad. It's written in the chat. Ah, okay. Ayad. Oh, this is Ayad. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Ayad. Okay. How are you? Are you fine? Uh, okay. Uh, well, good to... <laughs> nice to meet you all again. All right. Yeah. All right. Hi, Ayat. Okay. Terrific. Glad you're here. Uh, hello. hello. Mahmood. Mahmood. Hello, mister. How hello. are you? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Welcome nice to meet class. you. Nice to meet you Thank as you. well. But where are you from, Mahmood? Egypt. Egypt, okay, very good. Nice to have you with us. All right, we're going to be looking at some proverbs today. Uh, hang on a second. The Hangout is filling up with students all of a sudden very quickly. So I'm going to give it just a second. It flooded. It flooded, yeah. I don't like to do anything to the Hangout when it's filling up. I've, I've I've gotten dumped out of the class before doing that. All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to say a quick hello to people, and we'll, we'll get started looking at some proverbs. Uh, hi, Selma. How are you? Selma, are you there? Okay. Selma, try to fix your microphone. Can't, can't hear you yet. Uh, Servette. Hi, teacher. How hello, Servette. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? Pretty good. Uh, okay. Uh, Turkish classes. Welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you a teacher? Not professional teacher. Uh, yeah, doing language exchange thing on Facebook. So we ah, have teacher. Okay. I very just say I am a teacher, but just try to help. Okay. Uh, very very cool. Very neat. All right. Well, welcome to the class. Thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> Selma, are you there? Hello. Selma's leg. Uh, hello. 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 There you are. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, welcome to the class. Uh, nice to see Adela. Hello, Adela. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. How are you today? Fine. Okay. Uh, nice to have you in the class as well. Nice to have uh, Amir. Hello, Amir. Hi, Amir. Are you there? Amir, I can't hear your microphone yet. And, uh, oh, there you go. Amir, are you on now? Amir, 
Okay. Uh, also, uh, Cat. Hi, Cat. Good to see you again. Hello, and Igor. Igor, always a pleasure, of course. Hi, well, Tim. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Let's. Uh, we're gonna look at proverbs. So, first of all, what are proverbs? Proverbs are uh, little sayings or expressions that are designed to teach us something. So we're going to be actually doing a few things here. We're going to be practicing uh, pronunciation. We'll, we'll take turns reading the proverb. Also, uh, we're going to talk about what does the proverb mean. Um, sometimes they're very kind of idiomatic, very figurative. So we have to kind of figure it out. And uh, also, I'd, I'd like to you guys talk to you guys, see if you have any similar expressions or sayings in your culture and what they might be, if there are. Uh, okay, so we got a, a nice long list. We'll never make it through all these. So let's uh, go through, and, and we're just going to take turns reading them. And... Uh, and talk about the the meaning, what what they might mean. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. In case you don't have the, the document, I'm gonna do a screen share here. Uh, okay, for example, first one, Selma. Selma, are you there? Just. Hi. Can you uh, do me a favor and read the first one? Uh, okay, teacher. A friend is need is a friend indeed. Okay, nice long e e need in, indeed. What do you think that means, Soma? It means that in difficult times, uh, you uh no no. No, it, that was a good start, actually. In difficult time to really discover who is your real friend and who is the fake one. Ah, the real, very uh, the real one. The real one you will uh, <coughs> find it with you and the fake one you will just discover as your shadow when the uh, light's bright. Okay, very good. Do you have any similar uh, expressions or proverbs in, in your culture? Uh, yes, teacher. We have this uh, this one in uh, my own culture. Oh, okay, this is it pretty much the same as in English, or is it different? Yeah. No, teacher, it is the same as in English. Ah, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. This uh, all right, very good, good job. Okay, uh, Servette. Yes. All right. Can you look at this second one here? Every bullet has its billet. All right. Bullet. Billet. Oh, okay. Billet. Good pronunciation. Do you know what a billet is? I looked it up. It says <laughs> uh, a place that soldiers uh, stay temporarily, not permanently. Okay. Uh, um, hmm. All right. Well, that's true. It also refers to like his bunk. Usually, it's a soldier. Yeah, that's right. Uh, a billet, a place where he's gonna sleep. A billet for the night. Yeah, you're right. It is uh, temporary, but it also refers to his bed or his sleeping place. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, what do you think this expression means? Uh, every bullet has its billet. I think maybe I have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it this is a hard one. Yeah, this is a kind of a difficult one for sure. Actually, and this one is quite. I think it's quite British because I, I didn't know what this was either. I. Uh, as, yeah, I'm of course I'm an American, but I I have I w was I had to think about this as well. Do you have any idea what it means? 
No. Okay. Every bullet has... Okay. It's billet. The place where it's going to stay. All right. Uh, every... Uh, it kind of means... It, does anybody else have an idea, actually, before I just talk about it? Anybody have an uh, idea what this means? Everything has its own price. Has its own what? Place? Price. 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 Okay. Well, actually, I think you were closer. <laughs> if you said everything has its own place, I think that's a little closer. Uh, every has its where it's going to stay. Every bullet has its own target. Maybe we could say uh, something like that. Um, meaning, okay. Let's see. Uh, meaning that, okay. Uh, well, what did you mean, actually, <laughs> Selma, when you said everything has its own... What did you say? Price? Price? Uh, Price? That is, yes, there is nothing for free. Okay. Uh, okay, that's not quite it. I, okay, I, I didn't know where you were going with that. Actually, it's more like uh, every bullet has a, its appropriate target. Everything or everyone has a suitable place in this world. Something more of that nature. Okay? Okay, that's a lot closer. Do you have anything like that, Servette, in, in your culture? No, not at all. Not, not at all. <laughs> okay. All right. This one's a little strange for me, too. It's very British. Um, in, in American English, we might say, uh, how does it go? I'm trying to think of the expression. Everything in its, uh, every place, everything in its place, every place for everything. Something like, something like that. Something like that. Okay, there's a place for everyone and everything. All right, uh, let's look at the next one. Let's move on. To yet? Can, hang on. Yet, can you see this? Yes. Okay. Okay. A good wife and health is our man's best wealth. East and west home is best. Okay. Lots of short e sounds. Eh, eh, eh. Very good. All right. There's actually two expressions, but they're kind of related. Uh, what do you think they mean to yet? Okay, uh, I think I think uh, the prophet means that um, the man's best well is a is a wife and a good health. Mm -hmm. So they are both important in uh, in a man's life. Okay. okay, and east and west, home is best. So the, the prophet emphasized the importance of the home in everybody's life. Very home good. is a, their home is a place where uh, we uh, gather uh, together and we feel safe at home. Okay, the best place to be is home. Nice, mm -hmm. uh, nice uh, use of vocabulary. The emphasis uh, is on the home in this statement. That's right. East and west just means another a fancy way to say everywhere. Anywhere you go, home is going to be the best place for everyone. Uh, okay, yeah, Hazel, everything has its own place. Everything in its own place. This is the, the expression for the last one. All right, very good. That's very simple. These expressions, these proverbs just mean the simple things are the best things. Home, health, loved ones, like that. Uh, Tuya, do you have any similar... Similar such expressions in, in Vietnam? Okay, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's, okay, I think it's not, there's not <coughs> similar expression. Okay. All right, well, uh, all right. All right, let's just uh, move on. All right, Adela, can you see this next one here? Hang on. Adela, can you read this one? The next one? 
Adela, are you there? Uh, yes, okay. yes. Um, is uh, a drowning a drowning man uh, will catch at uh, Astro. Um, okay. I think is um, when uh, one person is uh, have uh, a lot of problems. Uh, um, uh, a, a little solution or uh, is. Uh, is su su is sufi sufficient. Is sufficient. Uh, okay, yes, because uh, um, a straw is a, a, a very little um, a object, no? About uh, about mm -hmm. the a drowning, uh, it's not possible to to save, but um, it's uh, a possibility. Uh, exactly. Okay. Very well said. Uh, actually, that's a very good job. When you're explaining <clears throat> an idiom or a proverb, a, a very good way to explain it is actually to talk about the literal meaning. Obviously, a straw is not going to save a drowning man. A straw floats, but it won't save his life. But it's yeah. better than nothing. When you're desperate, any solution, even if it's stupid or impractical, is better than no solution. Yeah, yeah right? Do you have any uh, similar proverbs in your culture? Anything like that? <clears throat> um, in, in Spanish, is uh, to catch um, a claw, um, um, a clavo. Uh, sorry. Um, um, What's that? A, a point uh, burning. A a point. Uh, see a burning. Uh, Sorry, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, a ver, sorry. Okay. Um, uh, this is, uh, um, es, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Are you stuck? Uh, Okay. Uh, I don't. Uh, straw is possible. Uh, um, no, um, straw, um, uh, but uh, burning. Um, ardi ardiendo. Uh, with fire. A straw, uh, a, a straw on fire? <laughs> yes. Um, wow. Uh, it's to catch. Um, okay. Uh, uh, it's the same. He's saying okay. it's uh, not possibility to to catch uh, this for for you safe uh, is impossible. But uh, you uh, right. you need you need anything to to have a solu a little solution. Uh, yeah. Any. Well, okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, that's pretty much it. What you, what you said. A man in despair or desperate. You should say, in desperate circumstances, will catch at anything. They'll try anything, anything at all. Okay, uh, all right, that was very good, Adela. Let's uh, let's move on to the next one here. Oh, I like this one. Uh, Ayad, Ayad, are you there? All right. Whoops, hang on. Which one are you gonna give me? I'm gonna give you the next one here. He laughs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's I know this one. Hmm. He loves. Who, he he loves best. Who loves last? Think okay. uh, uh, better better to love. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, it's uh, uh, good things when happens at the end. So if someone uh, don't know in a struggle or in a battle, uh, someone is winning, but at the end the other part, uh, the other uh, the rival will will take it, will mm -hmm. win. So it's best uh, best who loves last, the one who wins yeah. uh, and victorious. That's it. And victorious. Very good. That's important. Think. That's okay. Very good. Give an example to explain things. You should be doing this when you're speaking English all the time. Good. All right. He, he talked about a battle and being victorious. All right. That's how you explain things in English. You make an example, and maybe you make an example of the expression itself. Maybe you make another example. Uh, good. 
yeah, uh, it's best to wait to the end to start laughing. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Have you ever heard the expression, it ain't over till the fat lady sings? No. <laughs> I like that one. It's kind of funny. All right, it isn't over until the fat lady sings. What, okay, the <laughs> the we use this expression. It's similarly to he who laughs last laughs best. The fat lady they're talking about in the opera. I don't know if you guys have ever been to the opera, but in the opera, the aria that's a you know the big opera star female diva sings her part at the end. It used to be opera singers were quite heavy and large because they had needed a big voice. Oh goodness. Wow. You guys hear that? Is it your neighbor? Do you guys hear that? Yeah, it's political season here in the Philippines. So this is their idea of politics. They drive around in a big truck playing a silly song and vote for me, vote for me. Really uh, it's election period. Yeah, exactly. It's really quite ridiculous. <laughs> In my opinion, yeah, it's it's election time again. All right, okay, so good job. Let's uh, move on to the next one. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I'm gonna skip a couple here. All right. Well, these are totally separate ones here. All right, oh, we'll two for one sale. Uh, let's see who. Do Hain. Hi, Hain. Yeah, hi. Okay. Can you can you read this one? It starts New Lords. Yeah, yeah. Um New Lords New Lords Worlds have ears. Okay. Is that right? Uh, pretty good. Lords. Try that word again. Lords. L lords. Um, uh you're kind of missing the D sound. Lords. D -d -d lords. lords. Laws. Well, I'm not hearing the D, like dog. D yeah. Lord. 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 Yeah, there, that's better. Lord. Lords. Lord. Lords of the Ring. Lords of, <laughs> Lord of the Ring. Yeah, Lord of the Ring. Yeah, okay. The ring. Yeah, all right. Yeah. New Lords, New Laws. What, what do you think that means? Uh, I think that means uh, when I have uh, a new boss, he will. Uh, Give uh, his allows mm, to everybody. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so. <laughs> you think that's true? Yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Very true. Yeah. Uh, it happens often when uh, a new manager is promoted or they hire a new manager from outside the country. New lords, new laws. That's when you might hear this expression. All right. Uh, the other expression is not really related. Uh, walls have ears. Do you know what that means? Uh, I think that the uh, everywhere uh, uh, has uh, someone, uh, someone hearing you, someone are hearing you. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, they can. Uh, do something not good for you when uh, they hear what you say. Okay, yeah. all right, Th that's right. Walls have ears. We say this when we're, you know, uh, ex exactly what you said. We think somebody may overhear and cause trouble. Uh, hey, do you have any similar expressions uh, uh, in Thailand, like new lords, new laws, or walls have ears? Uh, I I know a uh, same uh, sentence in my country. Uh, where uh, every world has ears. Uh, that uh, that's Thai vắt mặt rừng. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, very very much the same. Oh, from Vietnam. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry 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 about that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Exactly the same. That's yeah. interesting. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right, let's uh, give a give one to here to Igor. Hang on. 
Okay, another one for you. Maybe you've heard this one before, Igor. Finders, keepers, losers, whippers. What is uh, finders? Finders, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Okay, uh, finder is uh, somebody who finds something. Okay. Keepers, watches. <laughs> Uh, somebody who keeps something. These are not really normally used words. You might only, well, no. You might hear finders, for example, a if you've ever heard of a finder's fee, very often, uh, okay, you need, uh, you need a chemical engineer, and I find a chemical engineer. I may charge you a finder's fee. For, okay, you find something somebody needs, you may charge them money. That's a finder's fee. Uh, keepers, other than goalkeepers, <laughs> I don't know. Somebody who keeps something. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Do you have any idea what's what... Weepers? What is weepers? Cry. Crying. To weep is to cry. A weeper is somebody who, who's crying. Shedding tears. Shedding tears, that's right. All right. So what do you think this means? This is actually a pretty common one. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Who finds yeah. that keep. Okay. Who lose that cry. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much <laughs> it. This is a common proverb that actually most English-speaking children know. They find something in the playground. They find a hat or a toy or a ball. They may, just, they may say, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Too bad, it's mine now. I, I don't see in this proverb any um, teaching um, co components. Teaching. Uh, well, there's in the sense of proverb have uh, proverbs have uh, uh, something that uh, teach you in one way, but I don't see. Uh, mm, how yeah. you help me with proverb. Okay. Find your skippers, losers, whoopers. Well, okay, that's interesting that you say that. Um, I understand what you're saying. Is it British? That's very common in America, too. Very common, and maybe what it's teaching us is the social moral ethics, The what are the ethics of finding something? In a way, it's a big lesson. <laughs> uh, American or British people, you know, okay, you find $100,000 in a backpack. You, sh you should, morally, really, bring it to the police station and turn it in. Right? Okay. We all know that. But reality is, children learn very young, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Tough luck. You lost it. You forgot to bring it with you. <laughs> Actually, what you're learning is the real moral code. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the in learning? Uh, I, uh, this moral code I can see lessons. on the streets. On the streets. Yeah, on the streets. This, uh, in <laughs> proverb to see this moral code. This is uh, uh, yeah. natural but, moral but, code. As I, as I did say, this is something that little children learn. Little children don't know this. Yeah, you know it. You're an adult. But uh, really, this is a proverb for little kids, actually. So if you find a, a wallet in the street, and you will say to the owner uh, this uh, this uh, proverb, <laughs> you will be a loser. <laughs> you will, you will give to cry to about it. Owner. Why don't you cry about it? Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Yeah, R really, this is an eth this is an ethical question in reality. From what okay. state this proverb is origin? Originally? Where is it originally from? I think from it's probably state? British originally. Okay. But I'm not absolutely sure. Teacher? Yes? This one, Finds Keepers, Losers, Weepers, uh, is uh, a common law. It's an ancient common law. It was cited like that, so it has uh, reached to the law and uh, the crimes. Ah, okay. All right, to crimes and law. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay. In in what way? I, I'm not sure if I understand you. What do you mean, Selma? Uh, I mean it was uh, an ancient law. 
but it was not written. Uh, this is why, don't, why most of people do not know, uh, do not have any idea about this law. Oh, okay. So you're saying that this was uh, adapted from an, an ancient or old law? Yes, teacher. Ah, well, there you go. Well, that's thanks. Thanks for that little s snippet of information. Interesting. Okay. That could be old code or law that just turned into a proverb. Actually, that's quite interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh, look at a couple other ones here. Uh, let's see. Mahmoud, you've been very patient and quiet. Uh, oh, you get to try this pronunciation, the er sound. All right. Mahmoud? Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. <coughs> kind words are the mouth of the world. The early bird catches the wall. Oh, okay. Your your er sounds are very good. You you missed music. I think you just couldn't read it. It's blurry. Kind words are the music of the world. Okay. That's okay. pretty obvious what it means. Uh, words are like music. Words, kind words in particular. All right, that that one's pretty obvious. What all it means. All people right? like kind words. Sorry, one more time. All people uh, like kind words. Okay, that's well put. All right, very good. But Mahmoud, what do you think this second one? The early bird catches the worm. What does that mean? Uh, the meaning the music is uh, the the uh, the best the best in the in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, you feeling in the uh, comfortable, relax. Uh, okay. How about the second one? The early bird catches the worm. Uh, bird in the sinking uh, in the early. Mm, uh, really, really uh, uh, enjoyed the listen the bird. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Hang on. The early bird catches the worm. Mamu, do you yeah. know what a worm That's is? Worm, I don't. I don't. Uh, ah, worm, I don't. Uh, snake. <laughs> I suspected it. Small snake. Catch, well, uh, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, a bird. Catches a worm. Yeah. A worm is uh, not really a snake. It kind of looks like a s lives no, in the no. ground. It lives in the yeah. ground. Okay. People go yeah. fishing. They use fishing. a worm. Fishing. You put a yeah. worm on a hook and catch a fish. Okay. So the yeah, early yeah. the early bird catches the worm. What do you think that means? Can you do you have any guesses? Uh. Who is first? I don't that's win. Ah, I had has an interesting one, a French proverb. Uh, if you look at uh, in the chat box, I, I had shared with us, the world belongs to those who wake up early. Same meaning, very much the same. Uh, okay, do you, do you get okay. it? it? It means if you if you start the whoever starts early. It can mean to actually wake up from bed. Yeah, yeah. It can actually be quite literally. It can be literal, and we use this proverb quite literally. Um, it can mean the first one to wake up. It can also mean the first, the person who first does something. Uh, okay, uh, Microsoft was the first company to introduce Windows or Microsoft Office, an Office program. Yeah. They caught the worm in a big way. <laughs> um, all right, the first company that launches a new kind of product or or whatever, maybe oh, they're going to make a a lot of the money. A lot of money. All right, the early bird catches the worm. It can it mean the first one to get there. If you're the first person to go to the bakery in the morning, you get the most beautiful, perfect loaf of bread. Same idea. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Okay, right. I understand. Do you have any? Uh, Sorry. Yeah, I have. Uh, 
Um, yes, sir. Okay, hang on. Uh, hang on. Uh, what were you saying, I Mahmoud? Yeah, I have uh, one experience. Uh, okay, one minute. Uh, uh -huh. uh, this uh, no smoking. This is uh, no smoking without ashes. No smoking you know, without ashes. Ashes, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. What is okay? There's no smoke. Smoking. Is it, this is no smoking. Without ashes. No smoking without ashes. This. Uh, Interesting. Exhibition. You know. Okay. Or, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, okay, what what do you? All right, anybody in class, what do you think that means? Uh, I think, the, I, think uh, I, uh, I mean uh, uh, the person you you, uh, you should uh, uh, work it uh, harder. You work uh, harder. You found everything. Ah, okay. You work harder, you find everything. Okay. All right. <laughs> You'll be more successful if you work harder. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> interesting, interesting. All right. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Well, thanks thank for sharing you. that. All right. Uh, Selma. Selma. Yes, you too. Let's see if, uh, if you... How about this next one here? Can you read that one? <coughs> Excuse uh, me. Has to make waste. Well, it's the same sound in the first word. Haste. Oh. Haste makes waste. Okay. Do you know what haste means, first of all? Honestly, no. I don't. <laughs> okay. Haste is to hurry. If you're hasty, you're doing something very quickly and as fast as you can. Or you're hasty to make a decision. You make a fast decision. All right. Okay. So what what do you think this means? Haste makes waste. Uh, if you if you do something quickly and without thinking and planning, it will make you lose a lot of time. Very good. Very good. You're exactly right. You don't think or about it and plan it. Then you're just going to waste time. Perfect. Slowly but surely, I add. Uh, very good. Yeah, very much related. <coughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Um, it's actually very similar to the next one. Uh, uh, Selma, do you have any similar... Do you have any similar... Uh, Expression, Selma? Uh, well, teach. I don't you, have any idea about our idioms. Okay. All right. All right. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, In Spanish, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Go has ahead. Hast uh, is not a good friend. Say again. Hast. What's that, uh, Adela? Is not a good friend. Oh, haste is not a good friend. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, I actually I like that, that one better. <laughs> that that one's a little more poetic. I like that. Uh, okay. Um, let's look. Uh, let's look at this next one here. Uh, Servette. Yes. What do you think of this Li one? Yeah. Little strokes fell great oaks. Okay, good pronunciation. Little strokes fell great oaks. O sound. All right. What do you think? What do you think that means? I guess they mean by using like small power, but doing it over and over again, you can do big things. Mm -hmm. I guess. A little mean because little stroke. You hit it slowly and not using too much power, but after a while you can fold the whole tree. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, in other words, the lesson to be learned, be persistent. Do you know yes. the word persistent? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that's what they're saying. Do you have any similar kinds of uh, expressions? Where, where did mine? There's something, but it's kind of too informal. It's like like a street language, but normally ah, okay. I don't remember anything else. Oh, uh, okay. Uh. Okay, <laughs> I was going to ask you to explain the street language, but <laughs> I started thinking about it. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, okay, uh, Adela. Uh, okay, can you can you see this next one, Adela? <clears throat> You're late. Ayad is late to work. Go to work, Ayad. Uh, Adela, can you see the, the next phrase? Yes. I use, as you saw, you saw mo. Good. Good O. W sound. O. o W. Good. That's good. As you sow, you shall mow. Or... Um, um, I think it's uh, people uh, sow, uh, people uh, is uh, good. Is possible to recollect uh, the after that. Uh, okay. Well, uh, wait a second. Another way we say this may be much more common. I've never heard it said like this in this paper. I've heard you reap what you sow. Do you know what sow means? Uh, sow is to is to recollect uh, the uh, the. Cereal or no uh, to to have um, no uh, right. after you grow uh, you you sow uh, uh, grow the plant uh, after that uh, uh, no? yeah yes that's right you sow seeds you plant seeds to uh, sow okay. is to, to plant that's right okay that's right right if you right. if you realize uh, a good action. Is possible uh, after that uh, you have uh, uh, you have uh, mm, uh, um, mm, a, a prize. Uh, a prize. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. You'll have a, a a good result. All right. Um. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Although we use this. Often to talk about negative situations, you reap what you sow. Uh, okay, for example, <clears throat> my friend just thought it would be funny to spread rumors about someone at work. And then the, the rumors changed, and the rumors became rumors about my friend. And they were very bad rumors, very demeaning, very negative. And so the rumors came back, and and then they were about my friend. So I might say to my friend, well, you reap what you sow. You started this, and now this is the result. This is what you get. You, 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 you're getting what you deserve, in other words. You reap what you sow. You sow what, yeah, you sow, you mow what you sow. Same kind of idea. Ooh, good. Oh, Ayad has a nice one there. Uh, yeah, I like that one. I have, I forgot about that one. Uh, he who plants the wind will harvest the hurricane. Very, very actually, my my example about it's a, it's a uh, French, about rumors. Actually. I couldn't translate it literally, so sorry. They say, okay. 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 It's, I I've, just uh, explained. Hmm. I've heard it before, I, and I, I, I like it. Uh, I've heard it before, I don't know, but... All right, I'm not sure where... Okay, it comes from French originally, all right. Same meaning, but much more dramatic and poetic, I think. Okay, good one. Thanks for sharing. Uh, ah, okay, I, I like this one. Uh, Anastasia, here, I got one for you, here, hang on. Okay, which one? Hang on, an ounce. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, an 
ounce of discretion is worth a pound of learning. Mm -hmm. uh, ounce. 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 Yeah, it's ow sound. An ounce mm -hmm. of discretion is worth a pound. Ow. Ow sound. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, do you know what an ounce is? Uh, yeah, it's measure. Right. Of, uh, we can measure with this. Yeah, uh, six. I don't know what. Yeah, discretion. Wait. It's like both. Oh, discretion? Well, there's yeah. 16 ounces in one pound. Mm -hmm. Okay. A pound, uh, here, a pound is a measurement of weight. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like grams and kilograms. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, discretion. What is discretion? All right. To, if you're discreet, then uh, if you're a discreet person, then I can tell you secrets. And I know you're not going to tell everyone in the world my secrets mm -hmm. because you have discretion. You don't just announce to everyone everything. When you uh, can withhold information, you, you can be discreet. Um, all right, if you're going to be discreet, for example, uh, I love snacks. I really do. So I would, uh, <laughs> I really do. So sometimes I would smuggle snacks into the office, which we were not supposed to eat snacks at our desk. But I would be very discreet. I would very discreetly eat my snacks, pretending that I was mm -hmm. bending over, uh, reading something intensely, and I'd eat a candy bar. I was very discreet. Hard to catch. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. All right. So, what do you think this means? Uh, an ounce of discretion is worth a pound of learning. This is, this is a hard one, really. Yeah, maybe you need to try. Uh, well, you need to try uh, step by step, and you will um, learn something. You know, not mm -hmm. everything will at once, but um, I guess so. No, yes. I don't think so. Um, <coughs> excuse me. An ounce of discretion. Okay, a little bit of being tactful. Also, discretion is being tactful. Being, um, oh, being a, a little bit, what do you call it, with ambassadors, diplomatic. That's the word I'm searching for. Mm -hmm. Discretion, diplomats are very discreet, but they have to be. They have to be careful about what information they share or how much... Um, think about somebody making a business deal to take over a company. You're not going to... Anytime we're bargaining, for example, we don't give away everything. We don't say everything. If I'm going to sell you a used car... I'm going to be discreet about how much information I give you. Uh -huh. Okay. Gotcha. So an, an ounce of discretion is worth a pound of learning. So, for example, I'm going to sell you a car. Mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I don't tell you about some of the problems with the car, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably going to help me sell the car a lot better than me knowing um, all kinds of technical information and... Uh, statistics and, and you know how the engine works and all that mm -hmm. my discretion is going to be worth more for my deal okay and okay do you I see guess I, yeah I guess I um, catch the idea alright yeah <coughs> alright uh, yeah Some, sometimes what you okay let me put it another way sometimes what you don't say is more important than what you do say I can sit there and okay sometimes it's better to not say something mm -hmm. than to say a lot that may be another way to say it does that make more sense yeah it does okay all right all right all right be mysterious yeah Somewhat, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, another another proverb or s expression is 
always keep them guessing. Okay? You know, in, in business or politics or anything where it's a competition or struggle for power, in sports for that matter, in boxing, in basketball, always keep them guessing. Don't don't tip your hand. Another uh, expression. Don't uh, if people have to guess what you're going to do next or or what you might be thinking. It's much better than some you know somebody who's bragging and and giving a lot of information. You know everything they're thinking. All right, uh, makes a big difference. Oh, okay. Here, okay. Here's. Hang on. Another one here. I really like. I want to get to. Hang on a second. Uh, okay. Let me. I like this one too. Practicing your peas. Uh, okay. I. I had. Uh, try this one. Which one? Right here. Pennywise pound foolish. Mm -hmm. yes. So when you uh, spend a penny wisely, it's better than to spend the pound in uh, silly things. I think. Okay. okay. Well, well, actually, I am Pennywise pound foolish. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it, it embarrasses me to say this, but, but I I am very careful with saving little amounts of money. All right, I will walk an extra block if it means I'm going to save a little bit of money on taxi fare. Uh, I will buy if there's two sodas and one of them costs one cent less than the other. I will save myself one cent, one penny, and buy the cheaper one. But when it comes to then, I will save one penny buying the soda. But then that night, I will go out with my friends. I will buy everyone dinner. I'll drink all night and party and dance. And I will pay for everyone to have a really good time. I'm pound foolish. Kind of contradiction. Yes, it is. Absolutely. It is a contradiction. And uh, this is a life lesson that I have yet to learn. I'm, <laughs> I drive my wife crazy, actually. I'm very careful when I go grocery shopping. I compare prices and I want to save a little bit of money. But then I'm an idiot when we go on vacation. I just blow a huge amount of money on stupid things. <laughs> I am definitely penny wise, pound foolish. Usually, uh, girls think about that guys are just greedy, you know? <laughs> Don't greedy? Take it personally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> greedy. Yeah, I know. And greedy uh, pay twice. Another proverb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you penny pincher. Yeah. He's a penny. I'm a penny pincher. Sometimes, but I'm very generous with my friends. I. Yeah. Ridiculous. Okay, no, I understand. I understand. No, you explain in which way you were um, yeah. like to save money and which you're a uh, generous person. Uh, yeah. I actually annoy myself. <laughs> this trait or personality characteristic in myself actually annoys me, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, okay. Uh, the next one, Hane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you What do you think of this next one here? Hang on. Mm, I uh, hang on. Give me a second. Uh, let's try this one. Oh, this is a. Uh... Oh, I like these. There's a couple of them here with D's. Hand, try yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, about in hand, it was to, it was to in the wood. Wood. Every... Yeah. Yeah. Wood. You gotta, you gotta finish your words. You gotta say the last D. Bird. Bird. Better in about the hand. In the hand, it walked. Two in the wood. Uh, every wood. dog had his day. Okay. Yeah. A bird in the hand is worth two in the wood or two in the bush, uh, you usually hear. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
I don't know what it means. No yeah, idea? I, I, I have no idea uh, about this uh, sentence. Okay. Yeah. Does anybody ever... This is a pretty f famous proverb. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. W what do you think, Ayat? Yeah. I think yeah. something even is a little in your hand better than something that you expect that you don't have. So you better keep what you have in... Uh, uh, to keep what you have and to be satisfied. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, very good. Yes, it, lesson in being a little bit conservative. Don't, don't risk everything. You may end up with nothing. It's better to have some than nothing at all. Okay. Uh, but, uh, How about... They, uh, sorry, uh, just sorry. a remark. They they use bird because what you have is a bird. When you are not satisfied, he can it can fly. So you will lose what you have if you always. Right. Use, that's what I they use in bird. That's right, because the bird can fly away. It's it's in not easy to catch a bird with your hands. In yeah. Spain, the uh -huh. sentence is "bird in hand is better to uh, flying." It's better than flying birds. Okay. Better yes. than two flying. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, also, it has yes. in Russian the same, uh, but we just have uh, used different types of uh, birds, the name, but the context oh, okay. is the same. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I hmm. think this proverb is good uh, using in casinos. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're so right. Uh, in a casino, you win a little bit of money, time to leave the casino. Take your bird in the hand and get out of there. That's right. I totally agree. How about this last one? Every dog has its day. Have you ever heard anybody? Has anybody ever heard that before? Every dog has its day. Yes. No. I heard so it. True. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I, 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 what do you think it means? Aaron? Hi, Aaron. Didn't even get a chance to talk to you. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, is uh, a person arrive uh, today uh, to uh, to um, uh, um, for example, if is a person uh, have uh, uh, is a bad person, uh, he arrive today. Uh, they need to to resolve uh, this problem. Uh, because uh, uh, punish uh, punish it, uh, uh, but <laughs> uh, because uh, they are uh, uh, something uh, uh, to uh, to go. Uh, I I don't uh, explain, but it's saving <laughs> same in Spanish, but it's not dog, it's pig. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Big. Well, we uh, actually, I think Anastasia is closest. Everybody will have their day. Everyone has a, a day of success. There's another expression, everyone has their 15 minutes of fame. Another one, uh, which I actually like, kind of funny, even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. I've heard about this one. Yeah, and okay. in Russian, we also say uh, there is one day when uh, there is be there will be a holiday on your street. Ah, uh, okay. All Something right, like I get that. it. All right, I get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot, class. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank thanks, Alka, for great you, classes today. Bye-bye. Uh, right. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, bye-bye. Have a great, great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.